Okay, Tim, what do we have here? We have here a 1959 Lincoln Continental Mark IV convertible. And where did you find it? I bought it in Dallas, Texas about five years ago. I drove it from Dallas as far as Palm Springs, at which point the starter went out, and then it had to be put on a flatbed. But we were doing okay. Super. So uh, what else have you done to this car? The car has the Coker Wide Whites, carb's been rebuilt, trans has been completely rebuilt, uh, carburetor, did I say that already? Carburetor's rebuilt, uh, alternator, starter, uh, assorted wiring stuff. Virtually everything works, including the, the, the radio with its auto-tuning function. Uh, power antenna, power seats work. Uh, very strong running car. Uh, chrome was redone before I got it. Um, both bumpers. There's some minor pitting on the strip across the trunk and on the light pods on the rear. Uh, the leather was redone. Uh, it is leather. Uh, leather seats. The top is vinyl, which apparently is, is how it's done now so that it doesn't rot. Uh, can't think of anything else, I don't think. The only, the glass on the car is all absolutely fine, except there's one very small crack on the driver's side window. I have the correct glass in the correct tint. Uh, all the power windows work, antenna works, uh, tops works well. Now, didn't you put a lot of work, you said relays or something in the top? Yeah, all of them, yeah. Uh, the top motor was replaced, that was good, Dave. Top was replaced, <laughs> top motor was replaced, the hoses, all the relays and switches were taken out, sent to uh, Florida and cleaned and, and put back in the car. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, I know don't. That these things kind of deteriorated because they are what they're some, they're, they're the double wall they're largest unibody car ever made I believe and they're double walled and snow and salt were not their friends so a lot of them just didn't make it uh, 50 58 was a difficult year it was the first year for this body and they didn't have the unibody thing down really well 59 and 60 they did a lot better and these didn't these cars compete with uh, what? Weren't they like the heaviest car or something? Or it it's a big, had the biggest, it was competing with Cadillac. I think the car, when it was new, was approximately $7,500, between 7500 and 8000 new, uh, which for the time period was a, a, a lot of money. Uh, there were 2,150 of them made. Uh, I, I don't know how many there are left. And I think, I forget how many of the coupe there were made. Uh, I think less than a thousand. This does have the fiberglass boots that cover the, the top mechanism, uh, which are on the car now. Uh, it also has the chrome strip that goes over the edge of the trunk, uh, which is in its, in its clips in the trunk. Oh yeah, I got a picture, a still picture of that. Uh, Super, that's that's great, and let's, uh, I'll shut this off for a second, and we'll get a picture of it running. Is that okay? Okay, sure. Okay, super. Let's fire it up. Well, it does sound good. And you said it's got a new carburetor on it? Is that what you said? Rebuilt carburetor. Sounds great, Tim. Okay, Tim, let's start that top. We're not going to put it all the way up, but we'll just show that uh, how the mechanisms work. You do it as far as you need to, Tim. That's enough. That's great. Great. Thank you.
Super, thank you. My name is Dave Henry, and if anyone cares to make arrange a buy it now transaction on this vehicle or make an offer, if you give me a call, I'd appreciate it. My cell phone is 760 835 0115. That's 760 835 0115. And that's uh, Pacific Standard Time, please, California. And if you care to visit my website, it is spokemotors.com. That is spoke, S P O K E, motors, M O T O R S.com. Appreciate you looking. Thank you. Okie doke.